Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Thanks for coming in for another episode. So today's wine um, is a white wine from Italy. It's from Rufino, which is a well-known uh, producer. It's the Orvieto. It's from or Orvieto Classico. That's the DOC, and uh, <clears throat> it is uh, nine ninety nine at HEB Plus. It's two thousand eight vintage, and uh, you know picked it up because well it was in the right price point and it was a well respected producer, and it's a wine I've never had before. Matter of fact, uh, I didn't really know what the Orvieto DOC was all about and where they're from and the varietals that they're using. So um, figured I'd check it out. So uh, let's do that. So I'm getting, I'm getting citrus out of it. Um, according to the website, which by the way, Rufino, kudos, at least for this, and I think also for the, um, yeah, I'm sorry, for this wine, kudos to having uh, notes about it for from 2005 to 2008. So I'm really just getting the citrus on it. Uh, they claim there were some floral accents on the aroma. I don't. I don't get any of that. I do like trying to read these things to see how I uh, how I match up with the official uh, tasting notes and aroma and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just get I just get really the uh, the citrusy stuff on it. Not much else. I mean, maybe there's some floral in there, but I get more of the fruit. Um, a little bit of acid, got some good acid on it, um, so getting the fruit, still very citrusy, um, I guess I get what they claim is almond, maybe a little bit. I never really thought of almond on the wine, but um, one of the reasons I do read the, the tasting notes is sometimes it triggers ideas of, of what you might taste. Um, it's kind of like you know discussing when you know you and another person, you and a friend are, are talking about wine and you're tasting it, and one of you catches something, you know, says, "Oh, I taste." Apples and the other person's kind of like, yeah, I get that too. And you may have gotten a fruit out of it, or maybe you got apples, but you weren't thinking red or golden or green apple. You just got apple, and somebody goes, I get green apple out of it. And you go, that's what I get. <clears throat> so reading these notes ahead of time, especially for me, that's still really developing developing my palate, uh, kind of helps out. Yeah, like. I do kind of get the the nutty aspect of it. Um, it's pretty good. I, I really like it. I say I give it a um, give it an 87. I think it's uh, pretty well made. Um, you got decent acid. Uh, it's a little hot, but you know it's room temperature. But uh, it's a 12 percent, I believe, or 12 and a half percent alcohol, if I remember correctly. 12 and a half. Um, definitely recommend it. Let's talk about Rufino. Um, well, we'll talk about this in particular. Um, the Orvieto uh, DOC in Italy is in central Italy. It's bordered uh, to the west by Tuscany, to the east by March, and to the south by Lazio. Or Lazio. Or Lazio. <coughs> um, so they're pretty much right in central Italy. This area of Italy has been producing wine for thousands of years, since the Etruscans, who were there before the, quote, Romans, you know, before Romulus and Remus kind of took over, um, the Etruscans were in that area, and the Romans eventually overtook the Etruscans because they're kind of in central and north Italy. Um, but they've been producing wine for you know since I don't know thousand BC, 
they've been in the area since 1200 BC and they introduced the early Etruscans introduced uh, wine to the area. Um, now let's talk about the varietals. Uh, it's 40 percent uh, this particular vintage is 40 percent uh, Grichetto, 20 percent uh, uh, Proconico, which is a clone of Treviano. So basically it's Treviano. And then the other 40 percent, and they didn't break this down, which I wasn't really happy about, the other 40% is a mixture between uh, Verdello, not Verdeo, but Verdello, and uh, uh, Caniallo Bianco. Now, the last two varietals are varietals that, according to what I was able to research, aren't really important varietals, but they, they took up 40% of this particular vintage. Uh, two of the other three vintages, where they broke down the, the actual percentages of everything, um, they only made about 20% of the wine. So... That's telling me that the, the harvest of the first two, of uh, Grichetto and uh, uh, Proconico, weren't probably the best, and they needed the other two to help boost the wine up a little bit. And that's where blends really come in. If it's a single varietal and the harvest really is bad, the vintage is bad, then you're kind of screwed if it's 100%, um, say it was 100% Grichetto or 100% Chardonnay type of thing. If you've got the blend in there where... Um, like in California, it's got to be 75% Chardonnay to be called Chardonnay. Or is it 85%? But anyway, um, it has the minimum percentage. But say it's 90% one year, 85% another, you know, based upon the harvest and how things are blended. Um, in the uh, Orvieto DOC, there aren't any, like, minimums for that has to be a minimum amount of uh, one varietal or not. So, um, but it's a blend. And those are the four main uh forming grapes that they use. Uh, Grichetto is from Greece. Um, so probably, you know, if you think about the name of it, it's pretty close to Greece. Uh, like I said, uh, Proconico is, um, is from, is a Treviano clone. Uh, the wine itself is fermented and aged in stainless steel. Um, it doesn't say how long it's ferment or how long it's aged in stainless steel. It just says aged in stainless steel until bottled. Uh, it's a 2008, so it can't be really aged for very long, since it's you know probably been out here for a little bit. Um, but uh, again, kudos to Rafino and uh, having the information on the website that is so helpful when you're trying to find out stuff about the wine. Uh, excellent. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, so I haven't really been pitching this much. Click the links as far as like friending me up. You can see here on the right hand side. It's not just. Facebook and Twitter anymore. Uh, I've got everything that I have a, a profile under 1337 Wine on, and I've got some of my personal stuff on there too. Um, Front me up on all that stuff. Send me an email. Uh, subscribe to the website. You know, I have no problem. Subscribe to the feed on FeedBurner. Uh, that way, you get an email every time I put something up on the website. Um, all that kind of stuff. Leave comments down below. Uh, donations. Hey, you know what? Whatever you want to do to help a brother out with, with the little money thing, that would be awesome. Uh, help pay for the wine. Uh, Jerry's been my only uh, contributor so far, and really thank him a lot for that. Um, helps with the wine. And uh, really appreciate everything. Hope uh, to see you guys again next time. Next week's episode 50, by the way. Thanks a lot.